Lil Romeo and Lil Bow Wow have officially squashed their almost 20 year beef. And I know, I know you late 90s and 2000 millennials are lost, but us late 80s and early 90s babies remember. But let me fill y'all in in case. These two have been feuding on and off for close to two decades. At first, they were fake friends like most of the people in the industry. But truth be told, the real root of it is because back in the day, in that time that Bow Wow came out, he was the only young heartthrob there was. And then maybe a year or two later, in came Lil Romeo, a whole other snack, who was a little younger than him, who all the little girls loved so much. I'll make y'all jump like Chris Cross, bounce like Val. I'm a little boy, got girls that don't wanna be my wife. So of course Bow Wow wasn't feeling it because well like artists these days in any day they feel some type of way about their direct competition. Like literally back then the early 2000s there was no in between you either had a crush on Bow Wow or Lil Romeo or you were cheating even though I liked them both oops but anyway they started throwing subs at each other on records dissing one another one that I can't seem to forget is when Romeo said something like you a mama boy, I'm a son of a hustler, and I will insert that here. Use a mama boy, I'm the son of a hustler. Shine like me, you know who I'm is. And the Bow Wow's jabs was, I'm only 18 making more than your dad. You ain't saying nothing, homie, little buddy. You ain't fresh as I'm me. 18 making more than your dad. Ooh. Which of course was directed to his pops, Master P. And according to Master P, the beef reached its peak when they ran into one another backstage at the Nickelodeon Awards and Romeo and P wanted to holler at Bow, but he didn't want to talk it out. Instead, he ran to his trailer. I can't make this up. And in my opinion, Bow Wow was always the petty one. I mean, Romeo should have at least been on the Scream tour. Plus, Romeo continued to attempt to reach out, but Bow always stayed silent. Two years ago, Romeo took to Instagram with this picture and said, Dear young superstar, as kids, we should have worked together. We should have toured together. We should have made movies together. The funny thing is, I never looked at Bow as competition. The world made it that way. When he was 14, I was only 11. From them late nights of us and Chris Brown hooping at UCLA, FYI, I bust everybody ass. Ha! To my teen dance parties, he was there. What the world doesn't know is that once upon a time, Bow was like my big little bro. Wait, big little bro? <laughs> it's cause you was taller and he was shorter, but anyway, moving right along. Although we had different views, he inspired me as a kid. Sadly, this generation only cares about now and oddly laughs at history. My pops always taught me to give people their roses while they could still smell them. Just some facts about Lil Romeo, Tom's Lil Bow Wow saga for the fans. Throwback Thursday, words with Rome. Now see, I always felt that they would get back cool because they're on the same growing up hip hop franchise on Wii TV, so to me, it was inevitable. Now, fast forward to earlier today, Lil Romeo made a post that says, Romeo versus Bow Wow, Shad Moss for a great cause this weekend in NOLA for me and Pop's Essence Festival charity game. Together, we raised a lot of money and scholarships for our youth and just wanna truly thank everyone who came out and supported this fun event. The motto is, get bread, not beef. This is how you change the world, baby. Togetherness. Hashtag, let hip hop live. Under these pictures of them. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Beef is not needed at all. 18, make it more than your dad. It's only 16 and I don't live home with mother. It's so refreshing to know that their beef is most likely over and done for good. But what do y'all think? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. Like and follow facebook.com slash Petsy Blog. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. PetsyBlog.com signing off.